Hello everyone, welcome back to Fab Trader, uh, where we talk all things trading, investing and building wealth. Today's video is something that's been in popular demand from many of you in the community, especially those of you who, who are just starting in algo trading or learning Python. Um, one of the first questions that I get asked is, how do I download NSE historical data automatically, both EOD as well as intraday? Uh, by intraday, I mean the 1 minute, 5 minute, 15, 30, 60 minutes uh, type of data uh, for stocks, futures and option symbols. For most uh, experienced algo traders, they get this data directly from their broker APIs. However, for people who are starting new and don't have a broker API setup, they need this type of uh, utility. Well, uh, the good news is, per your request, I've created a simple Python utility uh, that can download the NSE historical data. So whether you're backtesting strategies or just want to analyze price action, this tool gives you clean, reliable market data straight from the official NSE website, and it's uh, completely free as well. In this video, I'll walk you through the utility, its code, and I'll show you also how to use it step by step. You can copy this code for free and use it as you please. So stick around and smash that like button if you haven't done so already. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Vivek and I'm a financial independent algo trader. This channel is all about building a community of algo traders. We discuss everything about algo trading using Python, building and practicing trading strategies, market updates, and much more. Please do visit our community website, fabtrader.in. Also do check out my other YouTube channel, Fab Wealth, where I talk about my own financial independence journey and share tools, methods, and strategies that help me achieve my financial freedom. Thank you. A few days back, I'd uh, written this blog article. I also did a video on this where I had created an NSC utility uh, in Python, which using which I think you can do a bunch of activities like, for example, tracking live price. You can download BAV copies. Uh, you can extract corporate auctions, uh, corporate announcements. Um, you know, a whole lot of things uh, that you can basically fetch directly from the NSC website. And this is that video. Uh, if you haven't seen this video uh, or read this article, I'll provide the link in the description. So take a look at it. Um, the video and the blog article was received quite well. Uh, a lot of people told me that they, they are now starting to use this on a daily basis and they found it very useful. And as part of that video comments uh, and people who pinged me uh, told me that, you know, if uh, I can do something on the historic data as well, uh, because most people are looking to download NSE historic data, both the EOD data as well as the intraday data, which is the one minute, five minute, 15 minute type data, um, not just for the stock data, they also wanted, uh, you know, uh, stock options, uh, and then uh, futures data as well. So they had asked me if I can create a similar utility uh, where I can download uh, this data from the NSC. Uh, it will be very useful to them. So based on popular demand, I've uh, created a, s a simple tool that will do just that. So the details that I'm going to be talking through the, in this video, all that information is available in this blog article. And I'll post the link uh, in the description so you can read through this. Uh, and then what this tool uh, would do is basically, uh, just as you guys asked, uh, it will get historical data, not just for the, the uh, the underlying and the, the indices, uh, but also for the futures and options data for those stocks and uh, uh, indices. The, the article gives you a very detailed step-by-step uh, -step process on how to install this and how to use this. And this is the entire code. Uh, you can just simply copy this and then uh, you know run it as you wish. You don't really need anything apart from just pandas and uh, Python installed on your machine. Before I uh, walk you through the Python code and the, the actual Python implementation, uh, let, let's just start from the fundamentals, right? What exactly are we trying to do here? And how are we getting this data? So I'm sure you are aware of this website, which is charting.nsc.com, which is the official NSE website. Uh, and then this basically has charts for all the instruments uh, that, that are in question. Uh, all that the Python program that we are trying to do is trying to extract data from this chart. And that's where you're getting your EOD data and all the intraday data, right? At, at a very high level, this is exactly what that Python uh, code is doing. Um, for people who are slightly interested in uh, you know, technically understanding how this is done, I know a couple of subscribers had asked me that the, you provide code, which is all good, but try and do, uh, you know, try and explain how this code works also so that we can learn a thing or two. So for people who are slightly more interested technically on how this works, um, what we are trying to do is that if any website, if you go, uh, it, it basically works uh, as a series of requests and response, right? Um, so if you press F12 from the from any web screen that you're currently in, uh, you, would, you would see something like this. And then when you go into network, uh, this is where you see how this particular client, which is your browser, is talking to the, the server, in, which in this case is the NSE server, right? How, how these two uh, items basically talk to each other uh, can be seen from this window. So at a high level, how this works is, uh, you know, the, the, the browser or the client basically sends a web request to the server in a specific format that the server can understand. And then when the server gets that request, it basically responds back with the actual data. So in this case, if you really see, uh, these are the server requests that are co going out to the server from this particular web browser. And it is sending the data in this particular format where it is telling uh, the server as to which specific uh, you know, um, uh, script code or the, the script code in this case, Nifty, uh, 26,000 as, as everybody knows, this is the script code for Nifty. And then what time frame the data is, 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 is required. In this case, the interval is one minute. As you can see here, the time interval is one. So it specifically sends this information in a JSON format 
that the server can understand and the server basically uh, serves that page with the, with the data that is required right so in in the python program what we are trying to do is just emulate as if a real user is trying to you know request nse for data right in this case there is no real web browser or anything involved but we are using python program to basically emulate as if a user is trying to get this uh, request done uh, through a web browser and that's exactly how we are trying to send that request and we get that data back from the server and we we trap that data and that's how we get our historical data if you haven't joined our telegram group please do so i share uh, market insights algo trading tips and new video notifications and this way you can stay up to date with our community news and events now with that background now let's look at the python implementation um, maybe if you look at the code it'll it'll make uh, a lot more sense now so this is the code uh, right now uh, from a intraday perspective these are all the timelines uh, the time frames that it's also you know kind of supports which is 1 minute 3 minute 5 minute 10 minutes 15 30 minutes and 1 hour which is 60 minutes the daily one week and one month so this is all the data that you can basically extract for any stock any indices uh, including you know futures or option symbols even stock options including right uh, so that's what this does um, the way it is implemented is we basically have created a class where the 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 key functionality uh, is basically already coded in uh, this is the class uh, for people who are not familiar with class class is one of the most powerful data structures within python uh, if you are familiar with object oriented programming um, i'm sure you've heard of class um, if i want to give you a very a crass example on what this really means assume that you 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 building plastic dolls or uh, silicone dolls right um, to to build a doll like that what you first do is you create a mold first right the mold is basically the class here and then once the mold is ready you can create as many doll, dolls as you want using that mold and 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 these dolls are basically the objects that you're creating based out of the the class that you're creating right so the the class becomes the mold and your dolls becomes the object in this case we are creating a, a class called the nse master data and uh, like i mentioned what this is trying to do is that it's is basically trying to access these urls and then emulating as if a user is sending the request to the nse web servers and in the server responds with the actual data that we want which is this data and then once the data comes through uh, we are we are basically extracting the data that we want convert that into a, a pandas data frame and uh, we we download it and use it the way we want it hope that kind of makes sense and hope i'm not confusing you uh, but but let's just move on to how this code really works so at the start uh, i told you about the nse master data being the class and then you create an instance called nse this is this is where this this becomes the mold and nse becomes the doll that you're creating so the nse is the the object or the instance that you're creating based on the mold which is the class right so in this case nse comes to life here as an object uh, first thing is uh, before we even download anything we'll have to download the entire nse symbol master which is both including the nse as well as the nfo this step is very important you'll have to run it every time uh, this all, all it does is basically downloads the entire symbol master for nse and nfo and creates a cross reference file um, and then for downloading any data of course you need the, the start date and end date in this case i'm just taking just for testing purposes uh, six days so uh, end date is today and my start date is six days prior to the the end date which is basically the six day window is what i'm considering so feel free to change this uh, number to whatever uh, time frame that you want and accordingly the data will be downloaded um before we download the historic data there is one additional uh, utility that i've created here which can be a bit of use um not all of us know the entire uh, you know the symbol list and its names uh, by heart so this is basically a simple search facility so you can cre you can give even the entire full uh, name of this uh, the symbol or partially whatever you know and then you can uh, tell which exchange that you're basically looking at and then when you try to run this it'll give you the entire list of the, the symbol uh, code from nse in this case i've given nifty bank and uh, there is only one uh, symbol there within nse which is this nifty bank which is again very clear very familiar 26009 is uh, the bank nifty's uh, symbol so it basically searches and gives you the the details along with the script code similarly you can do a search on nfo uh, the fno symbols as well so in this case i've given the partial uh, bank nifty 25th april but i want to extract all symbols that kind of roughly match uh, this wild card so when i run this this gives me the entire list of all the you know the futures as well as the the option symbols for bank nifty so using this you can basically zero in copy and then run uh, historic download on any specific uh, code that you want now that you understand how the the symbol search utility works uh, let's get to the the meat of the video which is how to actually download the historic data right uh, so i've given sample snippet for every type here and then I've, I've just printed the first two rows so that you know you can you get to see the actual output also i've run this already uh, so let's quickly take a look at you know what are the things that we can do here in this case i'm basically uh, downloading the eod data for nifty uh, here i've given interval as one day uh, that's why you, you're getting the, the eod data for nifty which is here right so you typically get the open high low close and volume for nifty 50 in this case uh, moving on um, this is index data but this is for a, a lower time frame time frame which is one minute data so i'm basically having bank nifty data for one minute data uh, which is again the underlying data index for it so this is how it basically prints for every minute it gives you the um, the data for one minute 
And then similarly, you can do it for, uh, in this case, I'm doing it for the TCS, which is again, the, the underlying stock alone for 10 minutes. So the, this is where the TCS 10 minutes data is printed. Um, you can again, extend this to, um, you know, index futures, in this case, Nifty 50 futures is what I'm taking the April futures. So that also is downloaded. I've given a one hour data here. So that is downloaded. Um, and then if you want the stock futures, again, you can give the stock name and then the, the, the future symbol that you want. And in this case, Reliance data is printed. I've asked for one hour of data and one hour data is what we get here. Um, similarly, if you go for index options, uh, given bank nifty index options, uh, you know, the 50,000 PE and that's downloaded for five minutes. And then uh, if you also want the stock options that is also available in this case, the TCS stock options for 3000 CE and that is also available here. So I've, I've given a flavor of each of the functionalities uh, or the symbol types that you can download so that you, know, you, you can run it and then, uh, you know, Try it out for yourself. There are a couple of items that I would like to remind you. Uh, number one is uh, NSC. The data is not very clean. I mean, in the sense that you know, for example, if uh, sometimes what happens is instead of nine fifteen, uh, it gives you dates, uh, timestamps as nine four, fourteen fifty nine seconds, right? Uh, I've done my best to clean up all of that to to ensure that you know you get a proper uh, timestamp just the way you usually get it on uh, you know trading view. So I've done most of the cleanup, uh, you know, using uh, I've, I've tampered with the code a little bit and then cleaned up all of that issues for you. Um, but I would still li like to warn you that for some of the instruments, especially, you know, stock options, where there's not a lot of, uh, you know, volume and all that, uh, you sometimes might get some weird uh, timestamps here. Uh, so take a, a closer look at it and then fix it, uh, you know, accordingly. Uh, the second aspect is, uh, for majority of the, the stock options, you know, when you run it, it will give you an empty one. So if there is not enough activity for a specific expiry or a strike, uh, you know, you will get an empty uh, data frame. So please make sure. So in case there is no data coming from some of your uh, options instruments, so don't blame me. That's how NSC is, right? Uh, because uh, I've seen some of the comments saying that your code is bullshit and it's not working and all that. So uh, so I try to do my best here uh, to give you a cleaner code, but typically the data is something that's coming from NSC and I can't do much about it. So, uh, so don't blame me, right? Hope you like this tool. Um, a lot of effort has gone into doing this. So I mean, I would really appreciate if you can like and subscribe uh, because almost 85% of the viewers don't subscribe to the channel. So if you can really do that, that will encourage me to do more and more uh, of these type of tools that will be useful to you. So do try this out and let me know how this goes. And if there are any issues, uh, just put those uh, you know in the comment section. I'll definitely get to it. Until then, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you on another video. Bye-bye. If you genuinely found this video useful, please consider subscribing and liking the video. And I will see you soon in another video. And until then, take care and happy trading.